Hey guys, it is a belated entry subwig video for me because it's been a crazy week. I got back from the US on Sunday last week and just been settling back in and completely forgot that it was subs week and then just got busy and now it is technically Monday morning here, which is still Sunday, but I'm filming video for now. Anyway, this week's topic was from Often Wrong is the name and they were talking about they often go hunting in the woods and they wear a, a bright orange safety vest and we'll find that they fall asleep at the base of a tree and then there was this one instance where they fell asleep at the base of the tree and then their brother came looking for them and their brother was about to step on them and they yelled out their name and scared the hell out of their brother and pretty much was what was happening was that they felt like they they couldn't move and that they merged with the tree so it's actually a really quite interesting question, or general topic, I suppose, would be the thing. Um, looking at this, it's actually quite wonderful, because I've had an experience like this before, where uh, I was trying to um, look after a stray cat, and I was focusing on my body being like stone, and so that um, I slowed down, I became more solid, and um, because I was trying to get the cat to come closer to me, and in the end it ended up working, and I found that I really slowed down, and I really kind of shifted physically, and, um, I often find that, like, these sort of things can either be related to whether it be shape-shifting, or it be physically merging with the object. <clears throat> it's kind of an interesting process and the way it happens is that you pretty much shift your awareness and um, as the person that sent in the question was saying that they'd fallen asleep so often that will shift your awareness because you go into a subconscious state where your thought patterns change your body actually slows down your breathing will change and what happened was that allowed your, your body to merge with the tree connect with that tree because every everything is living, everything has life force, everything has anima. And in doing so, you've kind of combined with that tree, you've settled into that, and <clears throat> you might have, like, you're saying that you couldn't move, so you could have perhaps even been in a state of, oh, what's the term? I think it's like dream paralysis, where pretty much, if you've been woken from that, you'll often stay where you kind of you might have been astral projecting or you might have been just out of your body and you just kind of haven't fully settled back in yet and you can't just, you can't move your body yet. So it could have been something to do with that or you might have just actually become one with the tree and until you kind of could separate those threads between what was the tree and what was yourself, you couldn't really start moving yet. But um, an exercise that I've been learning during um, the apprenticeship I'm doing, the shamanic apprenticeship. It's called triple soul layering. And it's actually really quite interesting because it works with deity, but I think it could also work with um, like spirits of place. It could work with animals, it could work with plants. And essentially in fairy, there's the, the concept of the triple soul. So you have your talker, which is your talking soul, that which names everything. You have the fetch, which is your primal child self soul. And then that is the, the place of, like, emotion and images. And then you have your god self, or your holy daemon, or your holy deva, the, the blue dove above you, that is your god self. And what you do is you, you process and breathe into those, you align those three souls, and then uh, you start communing with whether it be a deity, whether it be a plant, anything like that. And you start to talk to them about that. Like, you will not physically talk. Or you could physically talk to them. But you start connecting with them, and you ask them to show you their three souls, so what their talker looks like, what their fetch looks like, and what their god self looks like. And then they you layer those over yours, and you kind of become a, a mirror a reflection for them. And it's quite an interesting process. I've done it with many deities, but I haven't done it with plants or animals yet. But... I find that it could be an interesting way to merge into a tree or merge into a stone or into water 
that sort of thing. So <clears throat> it could be an interesting process. It really shifts your perspective, and I think that could be a technique that, if you want to explore more of this tree merging, that might be something that you could look into. Um, I will try to find some information on the Triple Souls, and I will post it in the below section. But yeah, I think that's kind of it for this week. I'm happy to be back in Australia now. The US trip was amazing. Um, but yeah, look forward to see you guys next month for next subs week. Anyway, much love and blessings, and blessed be. Bye.